hello friends this is our second java class uh, in uh, previously we were uh, we print a simple hello world message on output console in this uh, in this video we will create another class uh, in which we will use some advanced concepts like uh, variables for creating uh, second uh, another class uh, go to src folder and right click and then similarly as you done before uh, click on new and select class as uh, in this video we will uh, uh, use integers and variables to perform some basic mathematical operation like addition so I um, I give it name addition addition class okay now hit on finish that will create our addition class okay similarly uh, uh, the we need to create uh, create a main method so I'm copying it from our previous program okay and paste put it here so it is our simple uh, addition class having a main method <coughs> okay uh, in, the, in it we need uh, we are uh, declaring two integers uh, integers are simple numbers like 1 2 3 4 okay they are not uh, are decimal numbers or are real numbers like 1.2 1.6 integers are similar like 1 6 uh, 1 8 123 simple whole numbers are integers okay for declaring them we are using int number 1 and number 2 okay this statement will declare two integer type variables variables okay now variables are those whose value can vary uh, in programs means sometime uh, its uh, value is uh, I'm assigning value 2 into uh, number 1 uh, variable okay uh, and then next time I'm assigning uh, value 7 on number 1 variable okay this will happen in our program uh, at that step the value in number 1 is 2 and at that step the value of number 1 is 7 ok we can find it by simple printing it by using printf statement uh, simply m percent d as you do in c uh, value of number 1 variable is comma number one okay or we uh, we can we add system dot out dot in front of printf statement okay and then uh, copy it and uh, paste it here okay this will um, this will print value at that instant time and uh, after printing uh, value of number one uh, it will put seven in number one and then print it here okay this will uh, come uh, we can uh, run it and see what it do okay now this uh, at first uh, print of a statement the value of number one is two okay and after that statement when the assignment of uh, seven in number one is done then uh, on next print of a statement it will put it print value of number one is seven okay I put a line break here so it will be more more, more clear to see and then when running it you can see that uh, the value value of number one which is a variable is very vary, is varying on program okay now uh, hope you understand it uh, better by this way uh, so we are uh, we say integers are variables cause their value can change on program ok uh, uh, I think we are going out of our discussion topic in this now uh, uh, we are making an addition program ok now I put uh, number uh, 2 on number 1 and then I put uh, 10 on number 2 ok this is assignment operator this equal to sign is used to assign values on variables so it is called a assignment operator ok now uh, we are uh, making we need to put we need to add these two numbers so we need uh, another variable for 
storing the sum of two integers as they they are integer we can use integer another integer uh, and give it name sum okay now sum can sum contain the summation of number one and number two okay this is an expression okay this plus sign is an operator and these number one and number two are simple operate operands okay and this will uh, put summation of number one and number two on some variable okay which is an integer so uh, and uh, then we we print uh, sum i'm i'm using printf statement as uh, many of i i think that many of uh, user uh, viewer are uh, aware of uh, c language so i'm using a printf statement there is an other way of uh, specifically in java which is println i will discuss it uh, after some time okay uh, now system dot out dot printf sum okay now it will print sum now save it and run it the output of our program uh, is 12 okay as uh, number 1 contain 2 and number 2 contain 10 values and the sum contain the summation of both so it will give 12 okay now uh, i'm telling as uh, in java the specific way of uh, outputting content is print ln print ln you can also use print ln in place of print f and uh, uh, as in print f we use system dot out we also need in print ln statement okay and then other way to output okay uh, now compile it and run it it will print 12 the value of sum and uh, a simple output message by our printl printl ln statement okay the slash n for line chain will also work on in this printl ln function i run it again and as you can see it will change a line after 12 and print other way of output in next line line okay uh, so uh, rewinding it okay now variables are those which can vary their value or we can manipulate them okay and the the variables are used in expression okay now we can assign values on variable by equal to statement or or equal to operator okay uh, and this whole such such a statement are called expressions okay now you you can use printf if you are more familiar with printf but in java you can also use println functions to output content on console okay now uh, hope that that's all for now thanks for uh, watching bye